Hello everybody, I'm Boz Feiler. I'm your friendly neighborhood evolutionary astrologer and I'm here with the evolutionary astrology message for the week between the 23rd and the 30th of December 2017. Last time I'm gonna say it, 2017. Ta -ta 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 -ta. We're heading into 2018. Isn't that exciting? Um, so, first of all, before I forget, I want to wish a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year to everybody who's celebrating. And I hope the solstice went fine for everybody. And from now on, at least in the northern side of the globe, days are getting longer, light is coming back, and warmth is coming back, and spring is in the air, everywhere I look around. Uh, actually, it's love, but it came out as spring. And for all of you in the southern hemisphere, well, enjoy midsummer and know that it is whining. <laughs> I'm joking. Uh, it is a time of uh, embracing the subtleness and moving away from the boldness in the southern hemisphere. And right here in the northern hemisphere, it's about reacquainting ourselves with the extravagant stepping away from the grays of winter into the technicolor spring but we still have a long road to go as we are just in the solstice so on the 23rd it's not actually on the 23rd but from the beginning of this week all through the next two weeks we're going to feel the conjunction between mars and jupiter and they're both squaring the nodes and this is a conjunction that brings tremendous energy both for in positive and negative aspects it it's a gr great energy for athletes for entrepreneurs for people who want to accomplish great achievements and we all can achieve great things important things during the next two weeks the conjunction is going to be at its height on january 7th and so this is a time that we can actually set goals and achieve those goals, but we have to be careful not to overexpand ourselves, not to overreach, and not to try and reach too high and, and, and end up staying with the rainbow in our mind, but with nothing, uh, no, no food to eat here on the uh, plane of Earth. So... There's a need not to chase too many rainbows and all the time to take that great goal that we have in our mind or that next um, target that we're heading in that, that we want to accomplish and, and really build a ladder to take it down to the plane of reality so it can work and be uh, sustainable here in the materialistic plane. But this is also a time that all these energies, if they're not controlled, can make us more carnal, more violent, angry, um, horny, God forbid. All our male attributes are heightened. And we could also have some kind of heated ideological or philosophical or even religious discussions at this time. And because all of that is squaring the nodes, it could be a watershed moment. It could be a time that we make choices that actually have long-term implications on the rest of our road regarding who we are, our self-identity, Mars, our actions, Mars, our ideologies, Jupiter, the things we believe in, Jupiter, and the truth that we walk and act by, Jupiter and Mars. So, um, we're going to feel it until the 7th, and just be aware that these energies are heightened at the moment, and try and utilize them before they sabotage your life, <laughs> so to speak. On the 24th, the moon is conjunct Neptune in Pisces, and this is a day I always say to celebrate the right mind and anything connected with it, like yoga, uh, meditation, creativity, art, spirituality, being in nature, going out on a vacation, just laying passively and looking at the world. It's not so good for being analytical and doing all these left brain activities. So if you're a little 
uh, confused or forgetful, don't be too mad with yourself. On the 25th, we have Venus entering Capricorn conjunct Saturn and the Sun. Now, Venus is in charge of everything that we draw satisfaction from in this life. Our relationships, love, our own bodies, work, and in terms of income, and our assets, food, drink, and sensuality. And whenever she is conjunct Saturn, there is a feeling of judgment. Saturn doesn't really care what we wanted and what we were afraid of. Saturn comes over, judges things as they are. And if they are feasible, they get strengthened. And if they don't really work, they crumble and, and, and are blown away from our lives. So all these Venusian subjects of love, relationships, income, uh, the way we uh, appreciate and respect our own bodies and our self-esteem are under scrutiny at this time. And the fact that the sun is conjunct to that too adds a lot of energy and brings solar themes like our uh, um, self-realization and who we came here to be in this life. And uh, markings we want to leave behind the signature we want to leave behind after we pass from this world. Something we've created, something we've actually done to change the world because we have lived in it. So everything of that nature is under judgment, Saturnian judgment as well. On the same day, the 25th, the moon is conjunct Chiron, so we are extra sensitive. We could get hurt from almost nothing. People can get hurt very easily from us. Just mind that and know that this energy is in the air and be kinder to yourself and others on that day. On the 27th, the moon is conjunct Uranus, square Pluto. It's a day to be more logical and, and be aware of your fuse and that it can be very short on that day. Don't get caught up in the drama. Always say that with the Pluto aspect. 28th. Moon, opposition, Mars, and Jupiter. So we talked about Mars and Jupiter, and now the moon is joining in. So we could have a lot of emotional energy or um, energy that is coupled with emotion or emotions that are actually opposing that need to go forward. So we're throwing a lot of emotionality into the energetic mix of uh, Jupiter and, and Mars. And that means that this could be positive or negative because on the one hand it could make us feel more complete about what it is we are doing because we identify the moon is about identification self-identification if we identify with it if it is part of us if it is part of our identity of who we are we can better pull that through but if our emotions are mixed about that if we're not sure if we don't feel secure enough that could actually hinder our progress on that day. So, let's see what else. Yeah, Venus is going to conjunct the Black Moon Lilith on the 29th. And as you know, whenever a planet conjuncts Lilith, all the planet's subjects are subject to... Um, actions that are not fully aware and that are actually self-destructive or harmful to ourselves or to other people around us in our close environment and i'm saying not fully aware because if we were fully aware we wouldn't have been doing that okay but when venus conjuncts lilith then our relationships our love the way we draw in income and satisfaction in our life could be subject to all kinds of dealings or uh, uh, um, behaviors that are not really positive, that are not really for our highest good or, or for, for uh, the highest good of people around us. So there is a, on the one hand, there is a danger of 
creating mistakes, of uh, hurting people at that time, of hurting ourselves at that time. But on the other hand, it's also an opportunity for us to wake up and actually see maybe for the first time where it is that we've been um, acting in a wrongful manner and change our ways. And hopefully we don't need that Lilith to give us another lesson in that area for us to understand it. Um, I want to finish by saying that all this week is an energetical build-up to the full moon in Cancer that's going to be in the 1st of January 2018. So we're going to feel the energetical build-up. And for anybody who wants to join the Evolutionary Astrology uh, course in English, uh, anybody who wants a consultation, and of course your shares, your comments, and your likes are very, very welcome and they help this video be exposed to more people. Thank you for listening and have a wonderful week ahead. This is Boaz Fader. Goodbye.